Hey everybody, welcome to another video about the Lord of the Rings LCG. I am Ryan, joined once again by Joseph for some Elrond's orders. Joseph, how are the crickets this evening? I have a closed window tonight, so the crickets won't make an appearance. I'm oh. recording from a new location here, my new house I've been working on for about two years. Top secret location in the middle of a forest somewhere. 200 feet from my old top secret location in the middle of the forest. <laughs> you still got that piece of string connecting you to the outer oh, yeah. world? Yeah. Yeah, I tried to get my whole internet hooked up today and it didn't work, so I had to put the string back in. All right. <laughs> How's it holding up? It seems to be doing fine. Good. Good old string. And uh, <laughs> just before we started this video, you were giving me a little rundown of what you're eating and what you're wearing, so I think you should also <laughs> share that with the outside world. We've been moving stuff over here gradually, so I got a two-day-old donut here, and I had gamers over last week, and they drank all my beer, so I'm drinking some bubbly, sparkling grapefruit water, mm. which is abomination to the male nature. It sounds a little bit hipstery, I've got to say, which is suitable for Portland. I guess so, but... <laughs> All right, well, what are we doing here then? This looks like intruders in Chetwood. On nightmare mode. Yeah, as usual. Um, I've got some interesting memories of this quest. I remember the first time I ever played it in solo, I got absolutely owned. <laughs> totally owned. <laughs> I think I played this Treebeard deck that I found on RingsDB. So I think I just mm -hmm. got him at the time. I thought, oh, I really want to play Treebeard, and it was with Merry and Pippin. And I took it up against this and just got totally wrecked. <laughs> So I ran off and cried in the corner, and I don't think I played it again for months. Yeah, it gave me fits too for a while. It's just hard to... There's a pretty potent combination of things that can happen to you. Yeah, it's, um, usually the first quest in the box is the easiest, and it probably is, because the first quest from the Lost Realm. So it probably is the easiest one of the three in there, but it can combo on you, this one, a lot. Some games can be really easy, and other ones can just be totally ridiculous. Yeah, it seems like these quests with the side quests in them tend to have the capability of comboing even harder than your normal quests. Mm -hmm. So if the side quests start to pile up, you'll sink fast. Yeah, this is the first quest where side quests came in. And the side quests are really amped up in this one. You have a couple extra ones. Mm -hmm. um, you mean and... in Nightmare or just in this mm -hmm. quest in general? In Nightmare mode. Okay. Yeah, our standard side quests are the orc ambush. Everybody pulls out an orc, and the orcs are beefed up till you clear it. Good old Lost in the Wilderness. Mm, love that one. It's always the first turn, turn card you one. draw, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rescue Eerion, who captures your objective ally, and you got to get him back within a certain time frame you lose. Orc Rearguard can really be a pain as well, especially yeah. if you have some other side quests out. It just slows you down proper annoying and it's got a, a little appearance there from the creature that was in one of the alien movies on the far right the one that was like an alien human hybrid that guy looks like that you probably haven't right. seen that film have you <laughs> i've seen the two alien movies <laughs> the first two yeah yeah they're the best two this is one of the later yeah. ones where like sigourney weaver had to cut all the alien human hybrid in a spaceship somewhere and it looks exactly like that work nice. so i always think of that when i see him uh, anyway sorry Anyway, that one can wreck you. Then we have a couple new Nightmare ones. The Shadow of the War Party is... I thought it wouldn't be too bad, but it actually is really bad. Yeah, Each copy be. of Orc, War Party can't be engaged, cannot be dealt damage, and gets plus two threat. So that puts them up to five threat each. And it puts all the engaged ones back to the staging area. So if that stays out there very long. You just get locked up raising your threat by multiple points every turn. And mm -hmm. done. then the other threat raising side quest is to protect the Brelanders. And it surges 10 quest points at the end of the quest phase. If you haven't put progress here, place a resource on it, then raise each player's threat by the number of resources on it. And yeah, one of our test games, we had what three of these in play at once. I yeah. think these three. I think I think that might have happened. Yeah, I've got a memory of this. I was going to say that I think this can be easy provided you keep on top of these. So if you can stop mm -hmm. these side quests hanging around, you'll have a good time. But the thing is that there's a treachery in this that spits out 
cards based on the number of side quests in play. So if you get a couple of them and you haven't cleared them and then that comes out, it just starts to snowball. The other thing that helps this all with snowball is um, there's multiple cards that pull side quests back yeah. from discard or even from the victor display, mm -hmm. uh, like this northern Chetwood. After you place progress here but don't explore it, then you got to pull out Lost in the Wilderness from Victor Display or Discard or Encounter Deck and reveal it. We got the Orc Abductor, does the same thing for the Rescue Aerium um, side quests. And I believe there's one more as well. So even if you clear them one by one, try to get them out of the way, they can come back and get you again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're never safe from them. Yeah, these effects on these cards are. They're kind of straightforward to play around, but they can get you. Like this orc abductor, I'm just looking at his text. So if he's in this, it, it triggers if he's in the staging area. So it forces mm -hmm. you to engage him. And of course, if he comes out turn one, and you don't have a good defender, then, well, that's probably it, isn't it, really? <laughs> probably wrecked already. So When I was playing solo, and I was in a good position, there wasn't much out. Mm -hmm. I could quest, I could kill. But I had this orc war party I had to kill before I could win. And... That guy kept coming up, and I can't win if the area is captured either, so I had to keep pulling him down since he only didn't yeah. basically engage one a turn because they don't make engagement checks. Yeah, they can really mess up your plans. Mm. So we'll see how it goes. I guess I've had some games where it's been pretty easy and other games where I cried. Yeah, and two players definitely seems to combo more than mm. solo so just because more we cards. might have a couple full starts here yeah who knows all right so speaking of starts i am going to play a variation of starter for dale the single core set and wilds of rovanian deck but this is a deck that i built because we were playing this quest i think because mm -hmm. we i don't remember what i was trying to play initially i think it was a deck based around the new um skin changer ally initially and mm -hmm. we were playing something else. Right. But we just couldn't muster any willpower. So I decided to see what Dale can do in terms of being a kind of dedicated questing deck. But it turns out you can actually make a Dale questing deck and still have them do everything else as well. Because <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're just so bonkers good. Mm -hmm. um, so this deck is really similar to the other one, except I'm running a few different allies. I've got the Knight of Dale and I've got the new um, Guardian of Esgroth. I'm just going to go in the deck and pull him out so people can see. Uh, so he gets plus one to each of his stats for each different player card attachment he has. So if you give him the Squire's Helm and the Hauberk, Hoberk, whichever one, <laughs> um, he's already a three, what is he, a three, two, three with that lineup because he gets an extra willpower off of Brand um, and an extra defense off the Hauberk. And he'll have... With both of those attachments? Uh, yeah, because he'll get He'll plus... be four willpower, uh, three attack. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Four defense. You're yeah. right. Four, three, four. And and um, as soon as he gets another one, he goes up to five, four, five. It's like six, seven hit points. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> so the idea here is to use Sparehood and Cloak, which is good in Dale anyway, to ready him, basically, so he can <laughs> quest and defend. Um, and it works right. pretty well. This deck has quested for over 120 in one game, which is just right. ridiculous. <laughs> and I like it. I've, I'm enjoying Dale. I've got the new Long Lake Fisherman as well. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's n not. I'm just going to look in the deck again. It's relatively straightforward. As a questing deck, though, I'm running three Test of Will, which is really important for this quest anyway, because there's so many nasty treacheries in it. Yep. So that's me. What have you got over there? I can see a new hero. Oh, speaking of Same treacheries, time, I should so... point out they took out the <laughs> arable treachery. What is it called? A oh. sudden assault or something? Yeah, I'm just flipping the card. So sudden assault is gone, and that's the one that makes the, all the enemies do an attack on you from the staging area, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't feel very good. No, that's, so I'm glad they took that one out. It's basically a game ender because you can't cancel it, and most of the time you do quest for more than what's in the staging area, just naturally. So it's sort of punishing you for right. playing the game for no apparent reason. So, good job, bizarre Night treachery, Mermaid for taking that out. <laughs> yeah. The other one that's probably worth mentioning that's removed is the Angmar Marauder, just because he's got a shadow effect that gives plus one attack for each ally you control. That's only, right, that one's... Yeah. Yeah, me that, too. That, that's a real sort of game ender if you're defending with an ally. Uh, or a hero, even. Not many heroes can actually survive that if you've got sort of 
you know six allies out which isn't uncommon right yeah glad to see that gone yeah okay so that's my deck what have you got joseph i'm playing uh a deck built by chad um why would you do that (laughs) they aren't to be wild oh yeah i did uh change it a little bit here and there just to tailor it to this quest got some more threat reduction and kind of simplified a couple things just so it's as consistent as it can be against a nightmare quest here mm-hmm. but basic bones are the same we got a bunch of bayorning allies hopefully we can get bayorn into play with a skin changer i got the uh, bayorn's rage uh what else do i got in here um oh yeah the horse one of the fun combos just in the hero lineup is Aragorn and Grimbeorn. The old, when Grimbeorn does his uh, counterattack, he'll get minus three defense, which in this quest is pretty good because most of the enemies have three to four defense. Mm-hmm. So cutting that down by an extra point with Aragorn should be really good. And Aragorn yep, got some. is really good in this. Yeah, if I can keep attacking with him, I can start pulling enemies out because one of the limitations for this quest is enemies don't make engagement checks, which is kind of nice mm-hmm. because you can control it. But kind of bad because you get punished for leaving them up there, and if you get too many up there, you only can engage them so fast. So Aragorn's ability to pull them out of the staging area should be really helpful if we can make sure he can attack. Mm-hmm. He's also got a great manga hairstyle, which I really like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, should we get started then? That's it. All right. Um, so I'm actually going to take a little uh, mulligan here because I looked in the deck uh, and I don't remember if I shuffled it or not. So I'm just going to pull these back, all right? So I'll shuffle and draw a starting hand. Oh, wow. Steward and King of Dale. <laughs> um, I, Seems good enough. Yeah, well, the other cards in hand aren't particularly great. I've got a spare hood and cloak. See, yeah. one of the things you want when you play this is actually these zero cost attachments because they. Any of the zero cost attachments in this deck is basically one willpower, so you can put them on your heroes and start questing and drawing cards quickly. Right. So while the other cards in my hand aren't particularly great, these Helms and the Knight of Dale, the fact that I've got King of Dale and Steward here means I'll keep this. Are you going to keep yours? I'm going to mulligan. I got two Bayarnian allies, but I want to see the Skin Changer first. Mm-hmm. And I got some of these Spirit support cards, but I kind of want to see a uh, Raymond of War for Grimbio and too. so let's see what I get here. Mm, Tactics Palooza. Yeah. Two goodness. Rohan Warhorse. Rivendell Bow for Aragorn, right? That'll yep, be I threw one of in there so I could we could balance the combat a little bit more. Mm. So. Nice. Well, I don't know if I like that any better, but too bad. Alright. Um... So, I should also mention that I'm actually running 51 cards. Wow. <laughs> I know, I've never done that before. <laughs> Certainly not on video. I don't think I have. Um, the reason being that we wanted to put some healers in to keep Grimbjorn alive, and I couldn't decide what to take out, so I just put another healer in, I think, and just went with it. I don't quite remember. You'll probably draw 52 cards. I probably cards will, yeah. This deck draws like crazy. Anyway. Yeah, Dale's insane. <laughs> All right, so let's stop the war party. Let's do it. All right, so part of setup was you have to grab a location per player. Um, Almost all the locations are very bad, so I'm going to take two of the not nightmare ones, Mm -hmm. if that's okay with you. It's fine by me. Rugged country is fairly innocuous as long as you can clear it before a side quest comes up. But even at four threat, it's not as bad as most of the other ones. Mm -hmm. Look good? Yep, and so Shredder Hill is going to be two, isn't it? Here. Oh no, sorry, it's the number of quest cards, not the number of players. Right. So one for now. So the quest only has one stage, 30 progress needed. Enemies do not make engagement checks, and then at the end of the refresh phase, raise each player's threat by one for each enemy in the stage. And that can get pretty mean. Mm. We have to control Aerion, and we can't have any war parties in play. Yeah. Right? Because it says uh, we cannot win the game while Orc War Party is in play. So I wonder, is there a way to win the quest twice like we did in the last game of Shadow and Flame? <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think so. Thanks to Buzz for pointing that one out. 
<laughs> if you can kill yeah. the Balrog and do some extra questing, why not? Oh, that was an <laughs> anticlimax there at the end. <laughs> okay, nice. I got some cheap attachments, so I'm going to start playing cards over here, I think. Drawing cards. So I'll draw one for playing that. I've got my Guardian of Esgroth just showed up. I'm going to play Spare Hood and Cloak on Bard, so I can draw another card. Test of Will. It's going to be useful. Question now is do I draw some cards with Berevor? What did you get over there? Oh, Bayorn. Yeah. Um, I think I'll I think I will take the draw. See I would. if I can get something down. Yeah, Maparovanian. Not gonna be massively helpful. I was hoping to get bartering. Because mm -hmm. I don't think I can play anything else, so I'll leave it there. Next turn should be good though. Yeah. Just gonna take control of this guy okay how about you uh, the war horse isn't really going to be good until I can boost attack on somebody mm. so I guess I'll just throw down who's that for Aragorn or Grimbjorn uh, either Okay. but Aragorn primarily I only have two horses in the deck and they're both here I'd like to put the Raymond to War on Grimbjorn mm. and the Warhorse on Aragorn. But, uh, I'm actually not going to play anything right now. Just yeah, no sad. reason to really. I mean, the only thing I guess you could play is Bjorn and Guardian, but not worth it, is it? No pressure to do so. Right. So, no, I, I, I want to have that resource on Grimbjorn so I can attack back if I need mm. to. Although, yeah, exactly. Enemies are pretty tough. Okay, so I guess we just go all in. That's what we usually do from memory. And I think we've got 12 here. I've got seven. You got five? Mm hmm. Okay, and Grimby one's going to protect us. That's the idea. Okay. And here, here comes Lost in Wilderness, right? Mm, no. Did you show? Oh, okay, I've just seen you shuffle that encounter. Just deck. shuffled. <laughs> <laughs> all five side quests on the top. I did. They were there. All right. Hey, that's not bad. No. Nope. Oof, right. locations galore already. Yeah, wow. So what are we looking at? Four, six, eight, nine, twelve. So we broke even. I'll make okay. that. Interesting. Where do we go? Rugged hey. country? I would say so. It's going to be the easiest to clear out. And if we don't make it all the way through that northern Chetwood, then Lost in the Wilderness will come out. So. Okay. Now, I have a memory of us killing an orc war party on turn one, but I have no recollection of how it happened. Am I dreaming this? Yeah. Let's see. I don't think we can, because even if Grimmorn right attacked now. it now, even if he attacked it, it would only do three damage, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I wonder how we did that. Maybe we left Aragorn up or something. I can't remember, but I remember that it was a thing. Mm. Oh, well. End of the round? Yep, and we raise our threat by one. Okay. Perfect time to draw that. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'll put some ancient madam up there. And now I feel like I still need to quest for as much as I can. How's your questing looking? Yeah, I'm thinking of whether or not I could give you the draw so you could actually get some other cards. Although you're about to get an ancient madam, so maybe you don't need it that much. Why don't you take the draw now and see if you're going to get an ally so I know if I can quest with Aragorn. Okay. Um, well, I'll draw some cards, so I may still get an ally. I can actually play one of my other allies this turn because I can put down Steward and King of Dale here. Nice. So I okay. could play this Knight of Dale, for example. Or load the Guardian. Up. Yeah, load up both of them. Nice. Uh, well, I'll be optimistic and play this silly guy. Well, he could clear a rugged country, which would be pretty good. And if nothing else, you can kill the war party, I think. Uh, well, you'd have to take some damage on Grimbjorn, though, so maybe not. Yeah, I don't know how I could really do that. Did you use Arwen? Her not yet. Man? Uh, so there, there is a way I think you can do it. All right. 
because you can pull them down and then mm -hmm. oh no I see you can't put an ally in with Grimby or and I was thinking you can put them in together never mind yeah well we'll just leave it there okay I'm going to play Steward of Gondor surprise surprise because why wouldn't you and then I'll do King actually Day. I'm going to do one more thing I'm going to put a okay. bow on Aragorn okay Oops. But I'm gonna use a war horse's resource to do that. So I'm gonna use Aorn, uh, Arwen's ability, drop one on Aragorn, pay for it. So Grimbir still has a resource. Sounds good. All right, I've got that out, and now I guess we want some willpower. So I can play the Guardian of Esgroth. He's gonna be three willpower, or I could play the Knight of Dale. I'll probably play the Guardian. I think. Mm -hmm. So let's get him down. Although actually I'll get a three discount on Knight of Dale here. So maybe oh, yeah. it's better to use that now. I And you could use a lore resource for that Knight of Dale, right? Yeah, or even a spirit one. Um but I think yeah, the lore resource is probably better. I'm just wondering about maybe I can ready the Guardian of Esgaroth actually. But I probably don't need to engage anything. I'll do the Knight of Dale. And I'll give him this spare hood and cloak. Oh, let me pay for that first. <laughs> what a noob. Let's give him this. Draw a card. Okay, Faramir. Don't need him yet. Um, I'm tempted on playing that map just to put a progress on the active location, but I think that's probably going to be it. Three will power is not a great amount to play there a little bit dissatisfied with that because sometimes this deck can just blow up but we'll see yeah the guardian could be four willpower pretty easy but... mm. if i gave him the cloak and the helm before i won't take it back now because i've done it all right. all right i'm going to quest all in so i've got 10 Four, Technically, five, ER six, is seven. mine, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. It's 10, and we have 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 10 out there. Yuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Then I'll add my max of 5, which isn't very pretty. Now, let's see. Hopefully, we've got a treachery. Yeah. And you cancel two treacheries. Mm. Oh, oh, there's there one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's a nightmare. When real, each player returns each enemy engaged with him to the staging area, so it does nothing. Either search the encounter deck discard pile and victory display for orc rear guard and reveal it, or each player must deal four damage to a character he controls. Shuffle the encounter deck. So shall we cancel it or take orc rear guard? Let's cancel it. Okay, because if we take orc rear guard, we will get one extra willpower as anything. <laughs> I know. True. I know we have to take a side quest, but. Um, there is that trade-off, and we get to ready Earian. So, right. what do you think is better? Well, it won't add any threat. That is the thing about Orc Rearguard, right? But then canceling it won't add any threat either. So, shall we do that? Probably the right move, but it sounds terrible. So I'll say, let's do it, and it's your fault if it goes bad. <laughs> no, I'm canceling it. <laughs> I'm canceling it. <laughs> I'm canceling it. Okay. Nice reverse psychology. <laughs> and uh, ambush. even see, worse well we've got a side quest either way but yeah that is worse but that only adds one threat which means you hopefully will get through mm. so I like to pull these yeah. guys with the wind revealed effects because then they don't go off yeah they're also the weakest that's the best thing about them. Yeah. And we get to ready Earian. Can we just call him Ian? Sure. Okay, good. Earian is hard to say. Ian. Yeah, skip out all those. Skip out the Rio. Just call him Ian. All right, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. And the staging versus our 15? Uh, yeah. Four, five, Look six, at that. seven, eight. Yeah, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. You get your draw. Three. 
What'd you get? Good. Honor card. Really good for supporting Grimbyarn. Gladrim's greeting will be good later. Another madam. Another madam. Sounds like that donut's coming back to haunt you there. <laughs> uh -huh. Shall we go to rugged country? Let's do that Just again. That's gonna yeah go up to four throughout, isn't it? Um, I need some help. Dale needs help. <laughs> Dale calls for aid from the bears because otherwise I'm yeah, gonna get that's owned. Interesting. I guess I'll defend with my. Well, you could defend with Ian. So yeah. Calling me Arian again, then I don't. I don't think he can die. Because I think there's a plus X where X is the number of quest cards in play. So he'll go up to five, and that won't kill him because he's two defense. Okay. Who is two defense? Oh yeah, yeah. Ian. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Ooh. Good riddance yeah. to that. That's the bad one. And then Grimbyorn will defend your guy. And nice. Take one damage. And if I attack back, I'll put one damage on him, which seems lame. So I think I won't. Does he take a damage? Um. Oh yeah, plus one from the orc ambush. Yeah. Yeah. What's it gonna do? One, one attack, one damage. Although if you used your Bayorn's rage, you could kill him, but then you can't trigger Bayorn's ability, so no point. Right. Um, why did I take a damage on Grimbyon? Because you plus one attack from Orc Ambush. Oh, yeah. No, oh, he's no. still a three. Yeah, he's still a three. Yeah. All right, this is starting to pile up. we got enemies engaged you can't kill. we got mm. Orc Ambush out. Let's get to it. Raise our threat by one point yep. again. Oh, good, I got a skin changer. Nice. All right, I'm going to take Berevor if that's okay. You've got stuff to play? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Cool, Trifle from Dale. So now I can spam some allies. I'm going to play the Long Lake Trader, definitely. So that will let me move some stuff around. King of Dale for my Guardian of Eskaroth. Let's put him here. I'm going to play the Squire's Helm on him. Draw a card. Here we go. Yeah, I've got my Warden of Healing now. And the Squire's Helm doesn't actually give him extra defense yet, is that? Yeah, thanks. Hover it's slow does. today. Um, I wonder what else I could play. I could do Traffic from Dale and get Faramir out, which would be very Should try some of this one, pink two, drink, it might show up in your mind. <laughs> what's, what's it doing to you? <laughs> okay, I'm doing Traffic from Dale on Making me up. <laughs> and I'm doing Faramir. So now we can start getting some willpower numbers going. And that looks good, I think. Um, I, I could play some more attachments, but it's not really much point. I guess what I might do, actually, is just play this one, just so he can quest for two, and I'll draw a card. Ooh, Fisherman. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not going to play that guy, because I want to keep a resource for Test of Will. So I'm yep. done. Okay. Over um, to you. So another cool thing a lot of people into it have been playing Arwen or some way to discard cards oh, with the Bayorns because you can discard Bayorn mm -hmm. and give either Arwen or Aragorn a resource because you're going to pull that guy out of your discard anyway. So I'm going to play the Skin Changer um, with intention of questing with him and then turning him into Bayorn during the combat phase. <laughs> it's Bayorn in disguise. Yep. And that's it, I think. All right. So I'll go all in on questing if you can defend my guy again. Can you do that? Um, let's see here. If I defend yours, I'd have to defend with Aragorn. And then I can attack back for six. Aren't you pulling out Bayorn, though, this turn? Yeah, but if I... I'm just... If, even if I do... Yeah. I'll only have these two left to attack if I defend with Aragorn and Grim Bayorn, right? Why so I still you... can't kill the Angmar Orc. Why wouldn't you defend with Bayorn? Oh, yeah. 
better. Yeah, he's way okay. better. He's not here, and I can't see him yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, yes. that, I'm just thinking, I, I probably need to go all in and smash this orc ambush, I think. That would be great. Get stuck. Yeah, so I'll do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16. And I'll boost it with Faramir probably after staging. Okay, I'm just putting 4 in. Okay, so we're on 20 now, so this is the Dale questing deck starting to get its wheels. A 4, 6, 10 in there. And I hit okay. the active location for 1 from the Mapa Rivanian. All right, so we're 10 up, and we still got fire. I mean, that's a good place. Here we go. Okay, kill them! When revealed, search the encounter deck. Discard Palm Victory display for a copy of Orc War Party and add it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. Um, either remove all progress from the main quest, I'm just laughing as I read ahead, or each Orc War Party in the staging area makes an immediate attack against the player with the highest threat. Well, that's So this you, is replacement so... for sudden assault. Yeah. Which, it's a lot better, but it's still pretty mean. Um, how about I do this? I like this. Yes. I don't actually recall discard in my other one. Let me just check I did. Yes, I did. Good. Okay, so I've seen all three tests of will. Wow. All right, so that's one down. And then the outskirts of our chat. That location's really annoying. Because uh, travel, search the encounter, like disco park, mm -hmm. victory display for protect the Brelanders and reveal it. And that's the side quest we just got rid of, so I vote no. For that one just leave it in the staging area right all so right. I'll, did I'll... you get rid of your uh, uh outriders no they're still in the deck so i've got two of okay. those so they can chip that one down uh right, so i'll faramir again one two three four five six so at 26 yeah so we're 11 up i got okay, so two here and eight here mm -hmm. awesome boom i got rid of that yeah all right, now with your questing ability online, should we go ahead and hit that northern Chetwood? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's see if we can do these enemies. I will... And now the stats go away on these guys. I'll defend for you with Grimbjorn. Mm-hmm. And now we'll go ahead and trigger his ability. I'll attack back for three with a minus two. That'll just put two damage on it, which is... Yeah, I can bow of you him away. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then I will turn the skin changer into Bayor. That is so cool. That's amazing. And defend. Take no damage. And then... Mm, are you going to be bold no here? Attack back? No, I'm not. Got nothing. Um, I could kill mine or yours. Um, you I... can kill yours with your bow later, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm fine. I'm wondering if you're going to pull down the Orc War Party. Yeah, I think I am. Ooh. So... Six will cut through with plenty of spare here. Then take the Orc War Party down. Yeah, from Aragorn. And I could have triggered the Baron and Guardian, but that was only a two threat enemy. So I didn't. Yeah, not worth But I it. guess I will do this, just getting a couple of resources. At this point in the game would be nice, so mm -hmm. I can get my honor card down. So I have a Noble and Ranger. Yeah. So Proud Hunters gets me two resources. I know you're a big fan of that card. I love it. It goes in like every draft of every deck I've ever seen from you. It's got Proud Hunters in there. Proud Hunters and Kyrdan, right? Um, maybe. <laughs> if Eowyn's around. Yeah. Okay, I've got a spare copy of King of Dale. Let's say you've got another Mathem. i got two Mathems. Yeah, that, that forest... Northern Chetwood is full of Hobbit junk. Yeah. Don't take that the wrong way. Hobbit junk in the forest is not something you want to see on the weekend. That be ticket. Very weird, yeah. <laughs> you know what junk means, right? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Just check in. <laughs> 
All right, now I can attack a couple times with Aragorn. Nice. Got Bayorn to defend, Honor Guard. That's looking better, and I got more cards coming. Cool. Just going ahead and fishing for some stuff over here. Um, I've got Galadrim's Greeting at hand, which I could play at some point. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'll use King of... See, I'm thinking of paying for this fisherman and looking for a, a different ally. This mm. is an interesting mm -hmm. card, I think, because he can whiff, so there's a bit of entertainment value, but he usually hits something I want. Right. So I'm going to... I'm just seeing what allies he might pull. Got a lot of good two-cost allies. Yeah, a lot right? of good two-cost ones. There's the three-cost ones as well. There's some four-costers. I think I'll say two. So I'm going to pay for him, and I'll say two. So I look at the top five cards. <laughs> There's a three-cost one and a four-cost one, and a two-cost one, so I'll take him. <laughs> um, and then I'll King of Dale him out. Nice. And I think... So now you can start getting your spare hood and cloak yeah, combo moving can, if you yeah. want. I guess you already had the trader out. What I want is the Northern Realm Lookout. Uh, North Realm Lookout, isn't it? That's his name. Right. That's what I was hoping you would get. Yeah. I think... I think I'm going to do... It's a bit of a weird run. I'm going to do that on him so he can quest for now to draw a card. Okay, there's that guy. Um, so two on him. I'll leave We're going to want to avoid using those maps. <laughs> For yeah, for now. Window, for now. For yeah. now, yeah. yeah. Just for this one location. Um, in fact, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to put it on him. I'm going to put it on this fisherman. It's actually a better play okay. to put it on him. All right, so I'm going to just do baller questing, and I'll keep somebody up to kill this orc. So one, two, Let's three. Be tiny questing. <laughs> Four, five, six. Uh, can I do tiny questing? Baller questing even six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and I've got Faramir if needed. All right, sixteen to looks like seven four, six. All right, I think this is actually only a one. Oh uh, yeah, right. Because we only have one quest card. I just changed it here, and we still have one test of will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Ugly dude. There it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ugh. Okay, fine. It's what Dale does not want to see. Yeah. Well, you can clear it next turn, hopefully, right? Probably. Uh, I'll just stick them over here so it doesn't pile right. up. Okay, so. That I, wasn't much threat. No, one, two, three. So I made that seven. Let's pop Faramir just to get some more. So he's going to add one, two, three, four, five. So 12. So clear okay, so Northern Chetwood, right? And put six on the main quest. And I draw six cards. That's nice timing to have to mm. lost in the wilderness. Grr. Whoa, <laughs> look at all those. Secret Vigil, that's going to be nice here. Look at all that threat reduction. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, I guess we just go to the Shrouded Hills. Yeah. Oh, actually, that went up by one threat. I don't think I. Oh yeah. For that. So, so I took one progress off the main quest there. Okay. And let's leave that Angmar captain up, and I will engage him later. Mm -hmm. So I had Bayorn's Rage. I was going to use against the Orc War Party to bring his stats down. But now it's gone, so mm. it's going to have to hope for the best here. Are you able to defend my guy again? Yeah, I'll defend with Thanks. Bayorn against my war party, so. Okay. All right. Here goes. Oh, Oof. eight pack. <laughs> he miraculously can survive that. Oof. That's, yeah, that's a stop close shave, one isn't of it? it. Yeah, so that's going to be eight, so five through, and then minus one, so four through from the honor card. And then Grimbiar, do you want me to just take this guy out? Or um, should I just save the resource? You nah, kill save your resource, yeah. I kept okay. Brand up for this purpose, so might as well do it. All right, another one of those good. gone, that's good. 
Um, and then let's see, can I kill this guy? I need eight. I think I exactly can, right? Three, six, eight, and since... He's two. Thank you. Since he's minus one defense from Aragorn, I kill him, right? Mm-hmm. And I can clear the outskirts of Arch Archit, too. How about that? If you want to, yeah. I got another one in my hand I can play, so well, I think I, it will. I have a ton of willpower, but yeah. Oh, I guess so. I guess killing stuff is just as important right now. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's fun, though. <laughs> yeah. Send them off to check, check Archit, and they won't know what hit them. Yeah. <laughs> and then you don't need my help, so I'll just attack my guy, second guy here. Three with a minus is just two damage. Yeah, nothing to sneeze at, though. And I'll do that. So he gets wrecked. And, hey, that's uh, looking pretty solid. Yeah, I'm thinking I might. I want to move a spare hood and cloak to somebody who can actually trigger it, but. Uh... <laughs> There's nobody out worth doing it on, so I'm just going to refresh. If you put it over on Grimby, or and I can kill my guy. Uh, but he'll never no, get it back. I mean, I need, to, <laughs> I need to pass it to somebody who can actually exhaust to use it. I can use oh, my yes, trader yeah. to move it around, but I need my North Realm lookouts. Okay, I'm going to take the draw. Yeah, there we go. Got one of them. Nice, and the map. Yeah, I'm going to do, let's do him. And I'll spend a resource to give him the map. And draw a card. Bow of you, that's nice. Let's put him over here. I think I will spend two and play this fisherman. And what are we going to say this time? I reckon two again, because I want to find another Northrum lookout. Yeah, got him. I love it when that happens. Yeah. And I looked at it right before you so I could see. Oh, did you? You little cheat. <laughs> but you're like, is he going to name two? Yep. <laughs> I wonder if I should play this bow of you. I, I might not. Uh, it's going to let me draw a card, but I think I'll play it on this guy. I'm going to play on my fisherman just draw a card. The more cards you draw, the better. Okay, Knight of Dale. I'm done. Got through 30 cards in five turns? Not too bad. Me or you? You're oh, right. me, yeah. Hey, 31. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get some threat reduction off this angler captain. I could play my as a guardian, but I'm going to keep resources on Grimbion, so that's it for me. Okay. All right, I'll do the questing. And Shrouded Hills is up to be hit with the map, so I'll do that. So one, two... Um, yeah, How many de maps you got? Definitely go there. I got two maps going in. I'm probably not going to quest with the other long night trader. Mm -hmm. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen up against five. Yeah, I'll put in some more. Another okay. two, and I'll fire mirror them. So I get one, two, three. Four, five, six more. So 21 from me. Three. Three. Yeah, but you do all the killing. It's all good. <laughs> I think all that's right, enough. 24 versus five. Seems mm. like enough. Yeah. Okay, Soldier of Angmar. Five attack, though. Yeah, hopefully I can leave him up there and pull him down. Kill him. Another one of those. So six. That's 11. Versus yeah. our 24 is 13 progress. Three here and 10 here. Give me those cards. Yeah. There we go. Got them back. <laughs> go to Chetwood. I think we can handle questing through, can't we? Mm hmm. All right. Um... Are you going to take the soldier down or are you going to pull him down with Aragorn? I'm gonna pull him down. Sounds good. I, I could defend. I could take him down, and tickle him, but I'm not gonna. 
I think I can probably take him down and kill him. We'll see. Okay. Okay, so I am defending with Grumbjorn. Okay, this is a really annoying shadow effect that happens too often in this quest, so I mm. have cancellation. Nice. So return attack enemy in the staging area after this attack, which makes your threat go up more, and I, then I can't kill it, and I can't pull down the next one, so it's just worth cancelling. Yeah, wasn't that a shadow I effect would... in normal mode and they just added even more mm -hmm. copies of it to Nightmare? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just to really annoy you. So five attack, I'll stop one of those damage with the honor guard and I'll take one damage. Mm -hmm. And Grimbjorn could attack back and kill him, but I don't want to do that because then I couldn't pull somebody down with Aragorn. So let's see what I can do. Aragorn needs help to kill him. He's got plenty of help. So there's six attack, which will put five damage on him. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. So we get to reduce our threat by three, and I get to give myself three resources with another proud old hunter. You clearly need another two day old donut. Your mind's flagging. Yeah. <laughs> I got more. Oh, really? What, two days old? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got like. 28 donuts for people helping us move and then not as many people. You always buy too much, right? <laughs> 28 sure donuts. That's more donuts than I've eaten my whole life. A dozen is 14 over here in America. <laughs> oh, what? Really? <sighs> At this place. Heavenly <laughs> dozen. Heavenly donuts. Okay. 12 plus 2 for free. Yeah. Okay. I got... You can get 6 and minus 1 attack is it? 4 damage on that. Sweet. Um... I could pass you a bow of you, so you could chip him for the final one. I'd take it. Yeah? I've never been this generous with a bow of you ever, but you go Aragorn. <laughs> have it. So, so there's a bit of declare him. backwards. Yeah. 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 All right, so then he's dead. Nice. Yeah, that should have been done when he was declared as an attacker, but we have plenty of windows to do that, so it's not really a... You know, the other thing I could have done it. Well, how about I just do it myself? I can use my Bjorn's Bjorn's rage, take his defense down. No, that's right. Okay, it's fine. I'm feeling generous. Aragorn has Dale bow and Rivendell. They're one and the same. So I'm just moving this spare hood and cloak to the north where I'm lookout now, so I can actually start to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your first player. Oh, good. Finally, an uh, unexpected courage. I wish I could see a uh, elven light so I could start drawing some more cards because three bags of madam is not enough, right? Hmm. Um, you got so much threat reduction. Were you really worried about threatening out? I was. Yeah. You got a secret vigil, Elrond's council, <laughs> and the Galadrim's greeting. You'll just be lowering your threat and not questing. Um. <laughs> uh, Guess I'll put it on my defender here. Mm. Aragorn has a warhorse, so that's all I'm gonna play. Alrighty, I'm drawing some cards. Okay, I got my Hallberg finally. I'm gonna play that on my Guardian of Esgroth. Mm -hmm. So now he can get his little stats boost. So he's four three four. And looking at my hand, I've got so much stuff. So let me organize it slightly into stuff that I actually want to play. Bay Orange, I am that healer. Is he? Yeah. Good call. Let's play him. There you go, Bayorn. Woohoo. <laughs> One health. One health better. Oh, I you can heal now? Think, yeah, I'll heal you now. Thanks. Can I take it on Grimbjorn as well? Yep, sure. I'm going to do one two for this guy i'm gonna play bartering to move that map off of him and then i'll replay it for free draw a card so now he's Ooh, three, four, power. money yeah. trixie yeah money 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 once i spread a few of these attachments around let's play let's play this for free onto the fisherman draw Squire's Helm. 
want my other guardians. Greedy for allies. Let's do this. <laughs> and I'll pay one for this guy. And I'm just going to give him a squire's helm so I can draw a card. Bartering, okay. Um, I will use this to return the spirit and cloak to hand. And I'll play it on the same dude, I think. <laughs> draw a card. Bartering again. <laughs> um, interesting. How long can you do that? All night. I'll just keep playing stuff. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do, just do the same thing again. Draw a card. Try from Delger. Okay, I'll play that. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine resources. How bonkers is that? Yeah, that's one, one two, of the three, four. largest possible resource gains that any card can give you, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Draw another one. Fisherman. One, two, three. Um, I'm going to leave it there. And then I'm going to probably quest for like a billion and finish this off, hopefully. <laughs> That's true. If we don't get a <laughs> yeah, some other side quest or something. War party, we could win. All right, I'll go all in. So I'll do one, two, three, and I'll hit that. For I'm gonna one. just check the discard pile to see how many side quests are in there. All right. Protect the Brelanders is the only one in there. That means we have rescue Eurian and or career guard and. That one that targets the war parties as well. So okay, I think a few in there. I think I've done twenty-seven without Faramir yet. Three, four, five. Good effort. <laughs> six, yeah, good effort. Six because he puts one on there, so he gets an extra willpower. So he's going to three, ten, thirteen, fifteen, um, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. I'll chuck him in for another two. So I'll do 29. Pretty good. Before Faramir? Yeah, before Faramir. Nice. All right, here we go. You got a test of will, right? Oh, yeah. And this one's the one that pulls out the shadow of the war party side quest. All right, there mm, we go. Location Palooza again. So I'll make that 13 in there. Mm-hmm. So we're currently getting 16. Let's boost by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 39. Plus, what did you quest for? I don't think I included yours. 3? 5. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 44. I think that's exactly what we need. Just by eyeballing that. We make 20, no, 31 progress. And Northern Chetwood sucks away 6. So we get 25. Mm -hmm. What about this over here? What about what? Your spare hood and cloak. Oh, if I trigger it, I can actually boost this by one. Oh, put it on Faramir. Oh, I could do, yeah. That's the point. Okay, let's do that then. <laughs> <laughs> so just kind of breezing through. So he gets the ready, and I basically trigger him again for another 10. Right. 54. 54 versus... And actually, if you really want to go crazy, I can move this one to him, and then I'll do it again. There you go. So there's another 10. So 64. now we've got 64. 64 versus 13 is 51 progress. Mm. 6 here and 45 here. I think there's a word for that, and the word is owned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just started to get going. Here. Yeah. Dale spoiled it. He just trampled, play a game. <laughs> trampled all over the war party. Yeah, that's furious willpower over there. Yeah, I know. Dale can definitely do some work. It took a little while to get going there, though. Pieces came out in the wrong order. Two turns. Two turns? My, my into, uh, start of turn three, you were oh. in pretty solid. Yeah. It's usually faster than that, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah. Dale is crazy. Very strong. But I don't think they would have done that without the help of Grimbiel and the Old, who was pretty good there. Yep, took a couple good hits and yeah. finally get Bayorn in to play. I don't know yeah. when I... That was cool. It's been a while since I got him on the table. 
that skin changers deck I mentioned at the beginning, you know, I played it a few times with Aerostore. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I ever actually got to the point where I put Bayon in with a skin changer because I just used to win before I needed to Kai. So it wasn't really doing <laughs> yeah. what I was supposed to do. It was kind of lame. That is the problem with winning too, too hard. <laughs> mm, yeah, I see why you like Turtlin so much now. <sighs> Actually, Aragorn was the most valuable part of my deck over here, getting those enemies out faster and killing them without having to take their attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Cool. Well, let's wrap it up here because we're rapidly approaching the hour mark on the video. Yep. 55 minutes. Done. Yeah, and I've got a curry to make, so <laughs> I need to <laughs> run away. Oh, I should mention that uh, I did tweak this deck a little bit just for this scenario, but I did do a kind of a test and review post on my LOTR deck testing ground blog if mm-hmm. you want to check it out. Mm, I checked it out. Have you got any more Grimbjorn the old decks coming up or Bjorn in decks? Yeah, I have like four more in the hopper I wanted to get to, but it's just been busy, busy lately, so I haven't been able to write as much as I wanted. But I'll try to get some more out. You need to get your priorities right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to move house? Right, or work, or yeah, sleep. Or that other stuff, you know, eat donuts, mm-hmm. eat pink gas. <laughs> <laughs> cool well thanks for watching everybody and we will see you in the next video Aaron's orders and i guess we won't do a preview yet because we're only on the first week so too right, early tough. yeah good week and a half left yeah i'm sure we can find something else to play this weekend though we should play race across harad because that's hard. yeah this willpower would really yeah work it, this, this is the only deck i've ever beaten it with so that's <laughs> exciting yeah yeah it's so hard solo I know. Yeah. Could it be hard? All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.